we want to cook our onions and everything that's going in our pasta. So here I have a large white onion that I've just thinly sliced and I'm going to throw this in the pan. This pan is on a medium high heat with a little bit of oil in there just to cook the onions. And we're just gonna let this cook until it softens a bit and starts to brown on the edges. So just a few minutes on high heat. Okay, so the onions are done. I'm just gonna push these to the side. I'm gonna add a little bit more um, safflower oil here. And I'm just gonna throw the tempeh in. So here we have organic tempeh that I've just cut. Um, I've sliced them kind of thinly into these shapes here and we're just going to throw this in this surprisingly works really well as the like chicken part of our alfredo fettuccine alfredo you can also use vegan chicken or vegan like italian sausage anything like that but i'm just going to use tempeh i'm also going to make sure to add a couple pinches of sea salt We're just gonna let that cook off until it's golden brown on each side. I let the tempeh saute for a couple minutes on each side and now they're ready. This is how you want them to look. I'm gonna use this pan to cook the mushrooms. So we're gonna go ahead and put the tempeh on a different plate. I went ahead and transferred the um, onions as well. So I turned the heat up all the way high. I'm not adding any oil to it because I'm st I still have enough coating the um, pan and we're gonna go ahead and throw our mushrooms in. You can use any kind of mushrooms. I have just plain white mushrooms here that I sliced. I'm gonna add those in. And you just wanna make sure that your heat is all the way high up and you don't overcrowd the pan too much. So we can get our nice golden color on each side. And you also want to just salt this a little bit with some sea salt. Just go ahead and let that cook off. While our mushrooms are cooking, I'm just going to go ahead and soak our sun-dried tomatoes here. They're a little too hard for my liking and I just want to soften them up a bit. I don't do this when they are soaking in oil because they're usually softer. That only took a couple of minutes, they're ready, and now I'm gonna go ahead and empty the pan and make our sauce, our Alfredo sauce. Yummy! Now we're ready to start our fettuccine Alfredo sauce. So, for the Alfredo sauce, I wanted to make this super easy and simple for you guys, so we're not using cashews, and the reason for that is because I know in a lot of different um, states and countries cashews can be harder to come by and they're quite expensive so I wanted to make this easy um, and cheaper that way um, of course I've made this many times with a cashew sauce before and that's really good too but I know that I'm more lucky to have them more readily available and not too expensive where I am so we're going to start off by making a roux instead of cashew sauce so the way you make a roux is you're basically going to combine a fat like uh, oil or vegan butter and you're just going to combine that with some flour. I also wanted to make it extra easy on you guys by using uh, vegetable oil instead of vegan butter because that is also cheaper and easier to find. Wherever you are you always have some kind of uh, mild flavored oil. So I'm using safflower oil. I'm just going to go ahead and throw this in the pan. By the way, you want to keep your pan on like a medium, medium, low-ish heat. We don't want to burn our roux. I'm just going to let that heat up for a moment and then I'm going to throw the flour in. Constantly stir the flour and oil. Okay, so I just let this cook for about five minutes on a low heat while I constantly stirred. And I'm just gonna add my garlic in really quickly. I made some space over here on the side. We're gonna let that cook for a minute or two until it's fragrant. The 
the garlic is nicely cooked now and I'm going to go ahead and add some nutritional yeast. I'm going to mix these together and we're going to start making the rest of the sauce. Now we're going to start adding our unsweetened, unflavored um, vegan milk. You just want to make sure to add this a little bit at a time. Otherwise, what you're going to have is a bunch of clumpy, like it's just a clumpy mess. So we just want to add, it's a little tedious, but you just want to add a little bit at a time. Just add a little bit at a time until you can add it all at once and I'll show you when that is. So just keep adding a little bit, mixing, add a little bit more. It's going to look worse before it gets better, but it'll work, I promise. Guys, don't be daunted, just keep going. I know you're going to be tempted to just dump all the milk at once. Don't do that, I promise you, it will ruin it. Um, just go a little bit at a time, it'll start getting loose like this, and then you can start adding even more milk at a time. So as you can see, the sauce is about done now, and we're just going to add two more things. By the way, the lumps are from the garlic. Um, first is soy sauce. I know that sounds absolutely crazy, but trust me, you're just going to add a tiny bit and it's going to give a little bit of an umami flavor that you get from the cheese. Um, we're just going to put a tiny bit of that. And we're also going to salt it now. Here's our fettuccine alfredo already. Oh my god. You will be thoroughly surprised by the tempeh. I'm telling you, it has such an interesting texture in here. It's very similar to like a fried chicken pieces, you know, that usually go in there. Like, I don't know, like, how is it usually? No, in like, reg like grilled chicken. Mmm. Wow, oh, that is so good. Okay. Should be, should be legal. Get a little bit of everything here. Oh my god. Mmm. Holy, holy, holy cuss word. <laughs> that tastes so freaking good. That tastes so amazing. Oh my god. Wow. I just got a full bite with the noodles and the sauce and the mushroom and um, some of the sun dried tomato and a piece of the uh, tempeh. Oh, that is amazing. That is so good. That tastes to me like when we would go to Cheesecake Factory and that's what I used to get before I was vegan. Was there like fettuccine alfredo with chicken? And it tastes like that. The tempeh is like the most surprising part, and it is so needed. Seriously, go get the tempeh from Trader Joe's. It's $1.99 for eight ounces. It's fantastic. Like, this is so good. This is the best fettuccine alfredo vegan that I have ever made, that I have ever had. It is amazing. You guys have to try this. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go eat all of this, okay? Um, 
that's how we're gonna end the video please like subscribe comment if you guys want to um we would really appreciate it and uh we're in store for more enjoy you're gonna enjoy this one this is my favorite oh my god okay